Okay, good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the uh, fourth in my series of tutorials uh, for creating aircraft in 3D Studio Max. Uh, today what I'll be attempting to teach you is how to uh, unwrap your model uh, and create a template for uh, putting your skin on top of it. Uh, what we will be using of course is obviously 3D Studio Max uh, but also a program called Lith Unwrap. Uh, this is uh, one of the best programs I've ever seen for doing this. It has a lot of options but in actual fact we'll only be using a couple of them. Okay so let's get started. Uh, the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to select uh, which part of our aircraft that we want to start with. And you can start with anyone, it really doesn't matter. Uh, so I'm going to select uh, this part which I've, uh, which is basically the fuselage. I've actually broken it up into a fuselage, nose, uh, the different parts of the wings and so forth. Uh, that is completely up to you. The smaller your parts, uh, the easier it will actually be to skin it. So. I've selected the fuselage. What I'm going to do is I'm going to basically get rid of everything else right now on the screen uh, by simply going to display and uh, hide unselected. So that leaves me with only my fuselage. Then what I would do is I would go to the left hand view. So go to views and uh, left uh, or the L key. Uh, zoom extends. So now we're looking at just the left hand side of the fuselage. Then we will go to modify. It's an editable mesh. Uh, select face we're going to select only the left side uh, faces uh, that we're basically going to do first. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. You can go to the, uh, the left hand side, select ignore back facing, and select all of the, the faces. Now it looks like you've selected everything, but in actual fact, uh, if you rotate it around, you only basically get what's on the left side. Now there are some issues here that you have to deal with. You'll notice that they're not it wasn't just the left side. There are a few uh, faces here and a few faces here that you've selected. Now, there's a way to there's a, two ways to correct this. You can actually zoom in, right click, and then start hold on the control key and start left clicking to unselect the particular polygons that you don't want. That's one way of doing it. The other way to do it is actually to unselect all the polygons and instead of going from the left side go from the top view, zoom all the way in, make sure that ignore back facing is off, then select only the left side polygons like this. Now you only get the left side polygons. Now check, rotate around to check the bottom and once again you only got the left side polygons. So that's perfect. So now what we've got to do is we've got to decide the size of our U, what's called a UVW map. The rule of thumb is very simple. Take the outer extremes of your model, and you could actually do that uh, fairly simply by going to display, hide unselect, or sorry, unhide all, selecting every single one of the objects like this, go to utilities, and then measure. Look down here, look at the three values, pick the highest one, which in this case is 11.33 meters and go a little bit higher than that. I generally go one higher so I would go 12 meters. Remember that number. That's going to be the size of your UVW map. Uh, the reason for that is that with 12 meters as your UVW map it will fit around the, the uh, largest object in your, uh, in your thing. In fact it will fit around the entire model. So now we'll go back to what we're doing which is uh, basically select the fuselage and hide unselected again. Uh, go up to here and go to face and of course we're still selected to the left face. Now here's what we're going to do. So we've got that selected. We'll go up to our uh, modifier list, bring it down, come down, select UVW map. And you'll notice you have a uh, orange line here. Uh, now unfortunately right now it's not lined up properly so you would go to view a line and now it's actually flat across the plane that we're looking at. Uh, oops, I uh, forgot to do something here. Let's go on the left side, zoom in, and view a line. Because in actual fact, that's, that's the actual plane we want to uh, UVW map across. So, you'll notice that it fits around the object. Well, unfortunately, that's not big enough. So what we would do is we would remember that number from before, which is 12 meters. 
and then 12 meters here for length and width. Zoom to extent, and now you'll see you've got a square, a perfectly square UVW map. So now, go up to UVW map, select Gizmo. Now, what this allows you to do is actually manipulate by going up and down and left and right your UVW map to wherever you want. Now, a couple of things of note here. This line here always indicates the top of your UVW map. This green line has to be counterclockwise from this line. Now, this is obviously what it is now. Uh, this will become a little bit more important when we do the other side of this object. So what we're